Welcome to Control Your Media, a channel where I show off various pieces of software and techniques to harness your own media collection. This video is part of a playlist on pseudo TV channels, which essentially take your existing library and stream it like a regular TV channel, including commercials if you desire. It's great fun to build nostalgic networks like you remember growing up with, and it can end up being a real black hole as you customise everything to perfection. Today we're going to look at a channel I run via Tuna, which is linked to my Plex library. The link to Tuna is in the description and setup is pretty straightforward regardless of your system. We'll be starting with a post-install blank canvas today as installation methods differ between systems. If you're new to a world of building your own networks and want to get something up and running quickly, I think this is a great channel for you. I think it's fair to say almost everyone who does this as a hobby has built this one. What am I talking about? Of course, it's The Simpsons. People will always argue about the best years of the show and the best thing about rolling your own network is, you can pick and choose every episode you want to include, or not. The Simpsons is also a victim of a network deciding to pull an episode from active distribution, so watching on Disney Plus denies the viewer of a classic, and there's no guarantee that this won't happen again. Thank God for DVDs. We've already linked Tuna to our Plex server, and adding the media in is really simple. We start by going to the channel section, and clicking New. I'm going to keep this all pretty straightforward for now, I'll keep the channel number and group as default, and change the name to The Simpsons. You can add a thumbnail here too, which will appear in the EPG of our media player. The other tabs can stay as they are for the moment. Once saved, we have the programming view, which is currently empty. Personally, I keep it simple and just import the first 10 seasons into the channel. So I click Add Media, navigate to the Plex library the show is in, and choose my seasons, before hitting the import button up here. For a lot of my channels, I like to have sequential ordering, but I've always enjoyed leaving this one down to chance, given the lack of plots from episode to episode. To do that, we'll just quickly hit the random button, and voila, it's literally ready to roll already. If I loaded this into my media player, I would get my randomised stream. However, to add some more fun, I've got a small collection of ads and promos from over the years, so I'm going to put a few of these in between each episode. I have a library within Plex I use just for this kind of thing. Rather than being set to movies or TV shows, which would make Plex try to match it to content, I've set it as other videos, and I tend to navigate it in the folder view to match how everything is stored on the hard disk. By adding everything in my Simpsons folder to a collection, it'll be really easy to add this into Tuna. First, I have to go to the library and make a new filler list. I'll give it a name so it's easy to find. I tend to use square brackets to designate the name of the channel it'll be primarily used for, just to make it easy to find. Then, add the media in from the Plex collection we just made. Back in the channel view, we need to make some gaps between the episodes for the filler to play in, and to do that I'm just going to tell Tuna to only start an episode on every 5 minute interval. We can see some flex spots have now appeared, and to tell it which flex to use, we simply go to the edit menu, then the flex tab, and pick it from the drop down list. It's the only list we're using for this channel, so no need to mess with anything else. As we can see from a quick test stream, once the episodes finish airing, we go to a commercial break for a few minutes before the next one starts. Perfect time to run to the kitchen and grab a bottle of Duff. These randomised channels are so quick and easy to make, it's easy to spiral out of control and add dozens of them to your collection. They're a great way to get a channel list up and running in no time, while you spend more time hand building the more intricate channels. Let me know what channels like this you've built, and anything fun you've done to make them stand out. Personally, I also have a Mystery Science Theatre 3000 channel too, so every day can be turkey day. Please do the usual like and subscribes so I know this content interests people, and I'll keep making it. I've got some more channels builds coming soon that will use different techniques and start building up in complexity. There's going to be some great trips down memory lane for sure. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing your comments.